We've arrived here at the ramp, and now it's time to get the sled ready for launch. During high season, these boat ramps can become very hectic because of the crowds. So you want to make sure that you know exactly your routine on how to get your boat ready. The first step I always take is putting in the plug. This is the most important piece you could have in your boat. You don't want it to take on any water. So we put the plug into the back, twist it tight. Make sure it's in there good and snug, not going to come out. Next, I'm popping off the two back straps off the port and starboard side. There's the first one and the starboard strap. Next, I'm turning on the battery selector and removing the motor brackets. Now, if you have two people in the boat, you can easily put one person at the helm and one person driving the truck. But considering that it's just me out here putting the boat in, I'm going to leave my bow straps attached. I'm not gonna unhook these until the boat is actually in the water, and I do that for safety. I wanna make sure that the boat is attached firmly to the trailer until it's floating on the water. The boat's all ready, so let's go dump it in the water. We just pulled up to the front and now we're next in line. Now it's time for me to choose lane. Whenever I'm trying to choose a lane to back the boat down, I always try and find one where I'm gonna have the dock on my left hand side. The reason why is because it makes it easier for me to pay attention to where my trailer tires are by using my driver's side view mirror. So it looks like I got the second lane wide open, so I'm gonna pull up and start getting the trailer all straightened out, ready to be back down. We've just straightened out the trailer and now we're ready to back down. First, turn off your lights. Early in the morning when it's dark out, having your headlights on can blind other people that are trying to back their trailers down. The easiest way to back down your trailer is to take your right hand, put it at the bottom of the steering wheel. If you want the trailer to go right, move your hand to the right. If you want the trailer to go left, just move your hand to the left. Truck's in reverse, trailer is starting to drift left, so I'm gonna move my hand to the right. Brings the trailer around to the right, get it straightened up. Again, even with this dock on my left hand side, makes it very easy to back down by using my side view mirror. And as soon as the trailer tires start to go down the slope of the ramp, I put it into neutral. That way the brakes aren't working as hard. Trailer a little bit more to the left and to the left. Now the boat is getting close to the water here. And for most trailers, if you get the wheel well underwater, that should give the boat enough water underneath it to float the boat. So I'm gonna get just the top of the wheel well underwater. There it goes, perfect. Park, parking brake, boat's in the water. So now it's time to unhook the bow straps. Safety chain first. Now the bow strap. And again, I wait to unhook the bow straps until the boat is in the water to make sure that the boat will not slip off the trailer. Now we're gonna head back here to the motor, trim it down, and get it warming up. While it's warming up, I'm gonna get my mooring lines ready. Get the bumpers off to the side and get the lines out. My lines are all ready, motor's warmed up. Time to throw the boat in reverse, back off the trailer, and get us attached to the dock and clear the ramp for the next boats coming in. We always wanna try and get as far down the dock as possible. That way it frees up more room for the other boats that are gonna be coming in and behind us. We get our stern line on first, and now onto our bow line. The boat's all tied up, ready to go. So now I'm gonna head back to the truck, grab it, park it, boat is secure, and we're out of the way. 